I'm here with Susie Stevenson from Derbyshire Dark Star. Uh, I understand, Susie, you're one of the founder members of the club. Just tell me about how that came about. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Um, so the club, uh, we aim to found it in uh, September 2011, so just before 2012. So really aiming for like to capitalise on the Olympic bounds. Um, but the origins really of the club and why it was set up, set up in the first place. Um, I was a student and a player at Loughborough and um, I met a boy um, and boy lived in Derbyshire um, and volleyball had died uh, across the county. Um, so there, there, were, there weren't any clubs, um, there was nowhere to play. Um, boy wanted me to move in with him um, and one of the conditions for me to move in was that um, he would uh, set up a volleyball club for me essentially so a little bit of a cute love story um, and so together uh, at the time I worked at Volleyball England um, so I had a little bit of sport development experience and I knew contacts and people um, and so together um, we formed Dark Star um, and uh, it's been kind of growing and thriving ever since. I was going to say, from those sort of fairly humble origins, it's it's been a fantastic journey. You one you must have really enjoyed, I'm guessing. Yeah, absolutely. And um, you know, honestly, the aim from the start was just uh, for uh, myself and him to have um, uh, somewhere to play. Um, and we decided right from the early days, our kind of vision was that at the point that we're on the bench, um, we succeeded. Um, so that was the start. Um, and then we realised that um, you know to really push and get to the top. Um, you needed to have the whole kind of development period pyramid underneath. Um, so we we went and branched out into the kind of juniors, um, beginners, um, and really just tried to hone um, some talent and some local talent, um, which of course has taken years. Um, but so we started in 2011 in the regional league, East Midlands Regional League, um, and we've had to win and grind out those wins and, and make our way up to to the Super League. Um, we're now on regularly being benched, um, which um, is uh, you know for some people that wouldn't be great, but actually for me um, that's it's really meaningful and it, it means that we've succeeded in what we initially. Uh, tried to do 13 years ago. How much pleasure do you take from that junior development side of things? Because I guess, you know, it's one thing to sort of bring in players, but uh, quite another thing to do it, do it yourself. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, absolutely incredible. Like it's it's amazing. And like today, one of the players that you saw on the court, um, Holly Tempest, um, who plays through the middle, she started off at juniors um, at Dark Star. Um, she's now gone off to university at Sheffield Hallam as a, a scholar, as athlete scholar for volleyball. Um, but she still comes back and trains with the club every week, such as her commitment. So to see her from um, you know that player that could just about get the ball over the net um, because of the physical strength to um, jump, float, serving in Super League, um, lining up the block. On on her own um, that's just you know that's incredible and um, that's that means so much because um, the amount of time and effort that you put into it um, it's great to capitalize that or, or for yourself but to see that legacy live on beyond you is just it's it's a satisfaction uh, of a different level absolutely and you, you've obviously done very well to get to this level to Super League where you, where you're competing in Super League what's the aims now for the club um, it's to kind of consolidate where we are now. Um, we've had some significant issues with venues. Um, and so for us, uh, next stages will be looking at securing for Dark Star. Um, it is difficult um, and really we want to do that so that we can grow. Um, but we do have a thriving kind of junior setup. Um, we also have beginners uh, adult session as well. Um, and then that goes through into our second NVL teams and then our first NVL teams. So for us, what we'd really love to have is both men and women competing in the Super League um, and then the second teams either in you know the second or third division um, and then our juniors able to come through as well. So for us, it's about having a thriving club. We're looking to push, you know, we'd reached 120 members previously. We want to make that 200 kind of club number. Um, but in order to do that, we, we kind of, we've got to a point where we do need our own um, venue and our own facility is quite a challenge. Um, we have an initial um, kind of partnership with the University of Derby as well. So they have scholars that come through. So again, on the court today, we were sharing uh, the court with Abby um, Littler, who, who's our Libro. She's kind of a veteran. Um, she won't like me calling her that, but she's a, she's a veteran scholar athlete at University of Derby. So that's like a bit of a program that's building as well. So we'd really like to see that hand in hand kind of um, growth. Um, and definitely when you look across the Super League, um, there's, there's benefit in having a university programme to help host you, um, but also to bring in some of that talent year on year as well.